Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. Today we're going to be looking at X Transbots. Um, what do they call them? The Master X series, number eighty-six, Shock Trooper, fast, or as uh, we might call him, Runamuck. Um, he is was a uh, what do they call him? A battle charger, I want to say. Uh, originally came out in the um, 86 line. A little late in the 86 line. With his buddy uh, Runabout. And uh, this is the first time I'm opening him up. So let's see what we got. Break this nice little X Trans Bots seal here. Uh, where's my knife? I don't have it. Oh well. I've been anxious to get this guy. All right. There he is. Oh, is the gun Haha, <laughs> accessory. Right. And then his other instructions and stuff. Take a look at that real quick. Actually, here is his weapon. That's about what you might expect. Not a look of paint, but very nice detail. And it's got a little slot to hold in his hand. And let's see what we have. His little trading card. And the booklet telling us how to transform him. Take a look at that, and uh, oh, some special details. Uh, attention, adjust the highlighted parts as the picture, then rotate. All right, all right, X Transbots, I'll give it a try. And the uh, and his trading card, I like getting these things, they're pretty cool. So, and um, they call him fast. And Runabout will be Furious, I believe. Which, gee, I wonder what movie they based that off on, since they are some fast race cars. All right, I love the little styrofoam tune that he comes in. And take that out. And there he is. And uh, he's in his little plastic, and right off the bat, man, he's so shiny, looks so good. That paint, I'll tell you what. Right, get him out of there. And, yeah, pretty cool. Rolls fairly well. Now, I'm not a big car guy, so I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what kind of car this is, but darn does it look nice. Let me just do a little close up there. Pretty cool. I like how the windshield is kind of, it's not really painted per se. It's like a just a smoked out kind of material. And oh, you got a little piece wanting to come undone there. Get back in there. Uh, let's see, does he have, I bet you. So how do we get up? Uh, Maybe it doesn't. I thought it did. I don't know. I don't really have the fingernails for this kind of job. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to break it. Does the door open? Yes, it does. Haha, <laughs> the door does open. It's kind of cool. But I tell you what, all these little gimmicks like, you know, headlights and doors open and all that. I don't need it. I don't. I don't care about it. I would much rather just have a nice, good-looking robot mode with a transformation that doesn't make me want to kill myself. But very, very shiny. Looks very nice. Uh, white paint. That I don't like how that's broken up in the back in this part. 
but you know it's car mode again i don't care and there's that there's that all right tires look very cool got that nice chrome Let's see he's got the headlights i can't get nothing to open up. i'm pretty sure these things open up i could have swore i saw a video where they did but maybe i'm not thinking maybe i'm thinking of something else or i'm just doing it wrong i don't know Mm. Bet you I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. I don't want to break it. But, man, it's like a nice looking car. Very sleek. Very well done. It feels nice. Yeah, it, it feels just like one of those nice little cars you get off the, maybe, you know, at the supermarket where, you know, they have all those nice cars that look like they could be transformed, but they're not. They're just cars. And we get the big old, what was that? QC Pass 03. Well, we will definitely test that here shortly. And uh, there's the place where you store his weapon underneath there. And uh, I can already feel like the die cast, and it's, you know, it has a good feel to him. I like him a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and get him transformed. <laughs> All right, so he is transformed. See, that wasn't so hard. And uh, looks pretty cool. Looks like he did in the cartoon. And that's really all I asked for. Nothing too crazy, nothing too sloppy. And uh, he, he comes across as very accurate, very neat. Um, really got that nice clean aesthetic to him. Um, I'm not crazy about the feet, to be honest. He's, he's almost got that, like, nasty Takara bumblebee kind of snowshoes, mom's flip-flop kind of funkiness going on in the back there. You know, I don't, I don't dig that, but I think the rest looks good. Um. He's very movable. You know, he, I don't, it seems to be an ongoing thing with X Transbots cars, how their arms are kind of weird right there. I don't know. I would prefer that be nice and tight, but I don't think they go that way. Got really all the articulation you need. Very cool, very cool. Although, you gotta be careful because you will start untransforming him, wiggling him around, as I think I did. Because um, I'm not the bestest transformer, but I do my best. That's all you can do. Get a good look at him. And he looks good. I like how the face is a slightly different shade of white. And he's got those beautiful red peepers. A Gino Wiz spot for where his Decepticon sticker is going to go. Uh, crazy how the waist kind of breaks up there. I can push that back down. And, uh, He's skinnier than I thought he was going to be, which is fine. A lot of that they got to distribute so he's the right height, probably. Let's see if I can fix that hole. Yeah, he's got to be careful with the middle part there. He'll start coming untabbed. It's kind of like gripe about his arms, too. But most of him is great. Um, he's what I expected. Yeah, it's a little tight. Yeah, some of the tolerances are very tight. Some are very loose. But just got to kind of mess with him and kind of test it out, you know. 
And let's see. This is gonna gonna go in here. Let's see if I can get that in there. Come on now. Of all the things. There we go. Alright. He's got his weapon. And he holds it just fine. And he looks good. Looks very nice. He's got a very nice... Oops, see? Like I, that's why I told you he gets untabbed there. You wiggle him around too much. But he's got a very, a very good uh, mix of plastic and die cast. And he's painted so nicely that you can't even really tell which is which without, you know, fidgeting with him. Which is fine. But I think they did a good job. I can't wait to get his partner in, in crime. Who should be coming any day now. So let's do a few comparisons. Here is Fans Toys drag strip. Who is a tall character, to be fair? Um, Run Amuck is supposed to be basically the size of an Autobot car. Which here is Fans Toys Mirage. So he's actually a little taller. A little bit taller. And of course, he's going to be taller than. Uh, Fans Toys Pipes. Um, drag strip back there. And Fans Toys Soundwave, who obviously is a pretty tall character. But you can see how he scales with those guys, and I think he looks pretty good. Yeah, they did a very nice job. Yeah, we'll throw in some other characters just for G-Wiz. There is a uh, classified Storm Shadow, Black Series uh, Django Fett, and there is a uh, three and three quarter inch scale, like Din Djarin and Tank Trooper disguise. So that's how he scales with some other characters. And man, yeah, I think it's good. What do you guys think? Did you get him already? You probably did. I've actually had him for a few days. I just haven't had time to open him up and fidget with him. But I think he looks good. I'm very happy with him. And uh, please let me know what you think. Did I transform him wrong? Did I uh, Butterfinger, DJ Butterfingers here? I probably did. Who knows? But... I like him, right? He's gonna look good on my shelf. That's all that matters. Yeah. There he is. So, anyway, thank you, X Transbox. And um, thanks for tuning in today to check out this video. Please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, share the video, check out the podcast, give us a comment, tell me how I best up this transformation somewhere because there's always going to be that one dude that goes oh no he didn't rotate the dinkle dork to the duma hopper i would be like sure didn't you're right so but anyway until then throw one back with me and until next time we'll see ya